caught and relaxed and smiling. Ah! Lucky punch? Let's see. As the fight begins, notice how McGregor immediately takes control of the center. This isn't just physical dominance, it's a psychological ploy to immediately put pressure on Aldo and to lure him into a trap he's been preparing. McGregor's southpaw stance positions his lead against Aldo's, enabling him to manage distance and apply pressure by tapping Aldo's lead hand, steadily frustrating him. Aldo adopts a classic Muay Thai stance, square to McGregor, hands up for defense. Contrast this with McGregor's wide karate stance, sideways, weight on the lead leg, rear foot on the ball, poised for rapid movement. Watch McGregor's calculated left cross. Aldo smoothly slips McGregor's punch, and McGregor, anticipating a counter, smoothly slides his feet forward. This positions him to rapidly bounce out of range while effectively ducking under the left hook he anticipates. McGregor then employs a sliding lead push sidekick. Notice the mechanics, the sliding back foot, the hip drive, the rotation of the back foot, all combining for a powerful, momentum-driven strike. Aldo, visibly frustrated, charges forward. However, this aggressive move exposes the right side of his chin. McGregor, prepared in his karate stance, precisely bounces back out of range. This maneuver aligns exactly with McGregor's pre-fight prediction. If he lets that right hand go, I will not be there. A move that triggers Aldo to overextend significantly, his body leaning far forward past his feet as he desperately attempts to connect. With great footwork and impeccable timing, McGregor keeps his balance even as he moves backward. This position sets the stage for him to deliver a swift and pinpoint left counter. Twisting his hips to fuel the punch, McGregor's strike lands cleanly on Aldo's chin. A mirror image of the move he was perfecting in the green room before the fight. 